welcome back guys so this is the question number six and we have to find the values of x for all the possible values of the variables okay so what are the variables which we have been using here these are the a b and c okay so we have the variables a b and c and what could be their possible values the possible values we could have here are the let me um, use this white color for it so those can be 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 okay and 0 1 1 similarly 1 double 0 1 0 1 1 0 okay and 1 1 1 okay so here what we have to do we have to check all the possible values of x for these uh, values which are given to these operators okay so let me uh, use this red color here for the lines this is for it okay so question a is a plus b plus c so that is a plus b plus c okay so to find the output of it for different values of uh, a b and c what we will have so that is the or operator so if any of the inputs or uh, any of the values here is what that is one the output will be one so for it it is zero so for it it is one 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 so this is a quite easy one the line here for my question one uh, similarly the question two here is that a plus b multiplied by what multiplied by c okay so here as all of them are zero so here the output will be zero as well so, okay so that would be zero uh, similarly uh, here we have a is zero so putting the value for it a equal to zero and b equal to zero so zero plus zero is zero so zero multiplied by this one that would be zero as well okay similarly here for this combination here we have zero one zero uh, so zero one zero putting a zero b one so i will get one and one this c is zero so again i will get zero okay similarly here zero plus one is one and one multiplied by one is one okay this one is 1 plus 0 is uh, 1 1 multiplied by 0 is what that would be 0 here as well similarly 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 here as well 1 plus 1 is 1 and 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 and here 1 plus 1 is 1 1 multiplied by 1 is that is one here okay so that is the solution of part b here now let me uh, try this sorry uh, part c here and part c is a plus b okay and b plus c whole prime okay and let me draw this red line for separating out so now here a plus b use this white color so a plus b a plus b is 0 plus 0 so that would be 0 and b plus c is 0 so 0 multiplied by 0 is here the output will also be 0 uh, similarly 0 plus 0 is 0 and that would be 0 plus 0 is 0 and b plus c is 0 plus 1 is 1 so 1 prime is again 0 so we will get what 0 multiplied by 0 is what we will again have this zero okay uh, similarly for part c here zero plus one is one okay and b plus c is one plus zero is one and one prime is what that is zero so we will have here zero similarly uh, a plus b is one okay and uh, one plus one is one and prime of it is what that is zero so here we will have zero uh, here one plus zero is one okay 0 plus 0 is what that is 0 and prime of it is 1 so here we will have what 1 1 plus 0 is what 1 plus 0 is 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 and the complement of it will be 0 so here we will have 0 so 1 plus 1 is what that is 1 and 1 uh, 0 plus 1 is 
what that is also 1 and the complement of it is 0. So, I will again have 0. Uh, 1 plus 1 is uh, 1 okay, again and 1 plus 0 is 1 and complement of it is 0. So, I will get here 0 as well. 1 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is also 1 and a complement of it is 0. So, I will get here 0 as well. So, that is the answer of my question C. For question D here, we again have to put the values and see that what could be the answer here. So, I am uh, leaving it for your own uh, practice part D and part E and uh, we will try to solve it in our upcoming video be because this is now enough for this video and I will see you that how to solve these upcoming video. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.